Hi Stampers, Rose Coleman back with another video for you today. Today I want to feature a, uh, a very quick uh, wine bottle tag using the stamp set and framelits from page 19 of the Occasions catalog. It's the Sure Do Love You bundle. So I'm going to be playing with the Sure Do Love You stamp set and the Lots of Lots to Love box framelit dies today. So let's get started. Here's a look at the stamp set and the matching framelits. Um, I did a previous video using doing a box. You might want to check that one out on my blog or my YouTube channel. Love this box. It's great for treats and cards and all kinds of gifts and different things. So let me set these aside and we'll get started. The Painted with Love Designer Series paper has gorgeous, gorgeous uh, patterns in it. One side of every sheet has this uh, gold metallic foil on it and the other side are different patterns and textures okay so what I have here today is a piece of 2 inches by 12 inch uh, strip and I have a 2 inch by 6 inch strip I've used my simply scored board I'm just gonna bring that in and show you I've used my simply scored board to score um, the length at every one half inch increment all the way across okay so I've got both pieces done and I've just reinforced those score lines and now what I want to do is I'm going to use a stapler to attach the ends and just make this accordion strip longer. Okay, so I'm just going to bring in a stapler. You can use any stapler that you have. And now I have an extra long strip. Okay, so I want to make this round. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to attach those two pieces. You can use hot glue or tear tape. Um, it's entirely up to you. I just thought I'd pull in my stapler as a really quick way to show you this project today. So I want my project, my wine bottle tag to show the glittery gold side. Sorry, and I didn't line this up very well. I'm just going to go back and staple it again here. Just gonna staple a couple times so it won't come apart. So I've got a nice little round or triangle or an accordion circle. And I'm just going to flip it because I want the gold side. And if you play with the accordion, don't be afraid. The cardstock is very strong, or the designer series paper is very strong. You just want to uh, play with all the accordions and get it to lie flat, okay? When you've got it like that, like a rosette, what my tip would be is to take something nearby, heavy, like this stapler, and lay it on top, okay? That will just hold your rosette in place and you can just like slide it over for a little bit while we play with the rest of our project. So in the stamp set, there's an awesome image here, this one here. Um, I stamped that heart with um, some Versamark and I used white embossing powder and I cut that one out. So that one is gonna be used to decorate my tag. I also love this one, You Are My Valentine, every single day. I stamped that one using Melon Mambo ink on some powder pink cardstock and I used the matching framelits to cut it out. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna make a little hanger. So I, I'm, I have a 1 8 inch, inch hole punch. I'm gonna come in here and punch a hole and I'm gonna bring in my gold 1 8 inch gold trim and I'm gonna cut it at a point so that I can poke it in that hole. And now I'm gonna cut myself about 12 inches of ribbon and just loop it through that hole and I'm gonna tie a knot. Just gonna tie just a, a regular knot. Okay. And I've made mine a little bit shorter than I wanted, but that's okay, I can trim it off. Okay, so there I've got my heart with my little hook and I'm gonna, t I put some dimensionals on the back of my You Are My Valentine. And I'm gonna mount that right on top here. Just like that. There we have it. So now on the back of my uh, Rich Raspberry Heart, I wanna make sure I put lots of adhesive on here. Just so that it sticks onto the rosette, okay? I'm going to use, did you know with dimensionals you can use all the edges? You don't need to waste. So I'm actually going to use quite a few. I'm going to use, put one like that, and then I'll cut that one in half. There. 
There we go. So I've got quite a few dimensionals on there. The other thing I want to bring in is a circle. I have a circle, just um, a three inch circle. Yeah, that I've cut out of some framelits. So I'm going to use that as well. So I'm going to put some adhesive on that. Actually, I'm going to use fast fuse. I'm going to cover this one with fast fuse that just ran out. <laughs> Let me grab another one. Here we go. I have lots of fast views, so there's, I don't usually have to reach too far to get another fast views. Now, fast views is an extremely sticky adhesive, so this will hopefully hold the back of my rosette. So now all I want to do is lift up my stapler. I actually want to take the rosette. I'm going to flip it over, okay? Because my circle is going to sit on the back of my rosette, just like that. Now press that down and make sure it sticks in place. That's going to be the supporting back of my rosette. And then the front of my rosette, I'm going to peel off all my dimensional wax paper. I put quite a few on here. That's okay. It's Valentine's. Share the love. And then I'm just going to attach that right on there like that. And there is my super fun wine bottle tag. So I'm just going to open this up, bring in my bottle of wine and show you what that looks like. Wouldn't that be fun to give that to your, your darling hubby for Valentine's Day or someone else, your sister, you know, whoever. Um, so there's my project for today. Fast and easy. All you need are two inch strips of that designer series paper scored at half inches all the way around and embellished with some hearts. Thanks so much for watching me today. Come back and join me soon. Take care. Bye-bye.